Hey guys, VG King here, and welcome back to another video. So today, I felt like I didn't do something special because I haven't uploaded in two weeks because of my unit test. So here's my uh, thing that I'm going to be showing you guys today. It is my Lego Destiny's Bounty remake. So yes, I, I know you guys are thinking, hey, hasn't he done this before? Yes, uh, yes, I have done this before. It was my very second video. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put it in the link in the description down below. So, but I felt like it needed a makeover because... Eh, how long can you just stay with the same kind of design? So I decided to give it a makeover and here it is. So I spent three days preparing for this video and I'm surprised that it turned out quite well. So I'm going to start here at the front. So I, rep I replaced the dragon figurehead, the original one that I put, with a, with a real dragon. This isn't really a dragon figurehead, it's more like a dinosaur. But I, but I think it fits. So it's got a mouth that can open and close and it's got proper teeth. And then next to it, on top, I've got a pretty good turret gun. This is from Lego Star Wars, and it can go up and down and from side to side. I've got my minifigures here to show you guys how it works. So I'm going to be um, attaching this guy here, and then he can just turn around like that on the turret to fire at anything that comes by. So like I said, it's a warship, so of course it's going to have a lot of these defense mechanisms. Um, so uh, next here is the mast. So the mask, I basically built a kind of box around the bo on the bottom so that it doesn't really fall. And, and I put a bunch of shields, these custom shields that I made, to flank it off on the top to make it a little more durable than before. And then on the top here, I used a string to um, uh, allow it for your minifigures to get on top. These strings can also be used as those Lego Spider-Man web shooters. So up here there's a missile launcher and it can just fire like this. You pull this little knob on the top. And then another feature that's up here is that I changed the sails to wing pieces. So you guys comment down below. Do you guys like the wing pieces or the uh, original base plates that I use for sails? So next, moving on to the middle of the ship, I added a gangplank. Like an actual gangplank to the ship so that your uh, minifigures can actually have a way to get on. Like that. So I'm just going to close that up here. And next here on the... On the top here, I've got a, uh, I've got another double shooter, uh, and these are spring-loaded shooters, which means if you tap the, if you tap this back bit, this missile will come flying out. So another great perk about this is this, is that it can go, it can move up and down. So if you need to nail someone from like down here, I suppose, then you can just uh, move it up and down to figure it out. So yeah, next is the bridge. There's nothing changed in the bridge except for uh, this bit, which I added an extra map. I'll change one of the maps rather. One of them's a treasure map. I've got a uh, another treasure map, and then I've got one of these like a uh, weird um like tech thingies, like as in like just checking your systems and whatnot, more like a ship scanner. And here I have got a city map, the map of a city. Looks more modern than the others. And so I'll put that back. So on the bridge, there's nothing else changed. It's just a steering wheel. Otherwise. So next, um, I changed the way to get to the bridge because the winding staircase from before wasn't wasn't gonna fly because of this new thing I've added here. I'll show you guys that what that is in a minute. So I added a ladder, and that's what this is. So this is actually a design adapted from the Lego Friends Mission Vehicle set. I'm not a big fan of the set, but I like this um thing, so I decided to build it. So it's basically just hinge plates attached and uh and uh flat base plates to uh, attach to a bunch of gates, attached to two gates. So it's a really simple build. So and it can also just fit right here. It can also just fit like right there. Yeah, and it's nice. So here I've got an armory. It's got like an assortment of weapons and some armor here. These dagger pieces work really well for holding armor in place. So I would really recommend using those for this purpose if you guys do have them. So then moving on to this section, I've got two catapults. These catapults are adapted from the uh, Lego Ninjago and a contract crusher set, so I got this idea from there. I added two of them on elevated platforms, so you can put a minifigure hit right here and make him fire it. So the way it fires is that you put a projectile in this in this um in this uh, cannon, and then just flick it like that, and it can go flying. So next, moving on to the back, uh, we have a new a pathway to get to this area. So like I said before, in my old ship, this used to be a small workshop and had like a small flying vehicle here. So I removed both of those. So apologies to Nia, who I gave this workshop to. So uh, it's just got some engines here and the two pathways. And I also changed the boosters. 
Like I said before, the uh, I don't know if I said this before, but the bounty can fly. The Destiny's bounty can fly, so it's got two boosters. So I basically just changed, added this bit to the boosters. Attack, attached to this piece here. So I just made it a little more, I don't know, more, I added a little more weaponry to it. So it looks a bit more equipped, like a proper warship. So yeah, and I added this fire piece on the end to give it the effect that it's actually flying. So I'll same things on the other side. So it's attached to this piece here. And I'll just put that back there. And it can just, you can just move it up and down to make it actually look like it's in flight mode, like that. So then here, I've got this little flyer here. Well, not a flyer. This is from the Lego Ninjago Air Jitsu flyer set from 2015. So I actually took off the flying bit and I just kept this, kept this little spinner here. I'm not going to show you guys how it works exactly, but I will show you guys what happens when you rip it. So that's what happens, but if you rip it with a bit more force, it'll come flying off the top and it'll spin on the ground for at least uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So that's also an extra def defense mechanism. So next, moving on to under the ship. Uh, in my old, in my first previous video about on the ship, I show I told you guys that it can be used for uh, various um, things, as it, uh, like storing vehicles and whatnot. But I transformed my bits into a bit of a kitchen here because this is a this is a home away from home for the ninja, so it's supposed to be good as like a proper kitchen and then like a bedroom like that. So this area is just a lounge, and I put like a little sofa here where minifigures can sit. So I'll put it right there, and so they can watch a, and they can watch TV on this screen. And moving on to the actual kitchen, I have a sink. So this sink is basically a Lego shell piece. Uh, and then I put a little Lego faucet on it, so your minifigure can actually be washing their hands. So if I just put the sink here, and I just put a minifigure like that to make it look like they're washing their hands. Yeah. And then I've got a miniature um, pantry here, more like a shelf cabinet. It's got it's got um. These uh, Sunday piece, Sundays inside, which is sort of like a cylinder piece with a um, strawberry ice cream cone on top. And on here, I've got some like other assort assortments, like some chocolate, some drinks, and a sandwich. So I'm just gonna put that back. Yeah. So next, I've got a table. It's just got four stools, and it's just got some drinks and a plate full of. Um, uh, these studs, these studs can be considered omelets or cheese balls or whatever you guys want to do. That's your, uh, that's up to you. So next, I've got a stove. So this I already showed in a previous video, which is my Lego Ninja, which is my Lego Ninjago VIP tour of the Ninja HQ Part One. I will I'll link that in the description below if you guys do want to look at it. So this, uh, so this stove is basically just four studs put together, and this one is just a uh, pre-built piece. I can just put a pan on top of it and this and this pot. And then on, and then here it can be considered an oven or a shelf. It just got a cherry and a star cookie inside. Just putting that back in there. And the last part of the kitchen is this juicer or like water dispenser. So basically, you pull the lever and water comes out of this tap. I mean, not uh, not in real life, but um. So I'll just put that back here. And there's a cup here to get receive all the juice or water. And then this is a mixer. So I basically just took a Lego mug and put it on top of a, a cone piece, which was attached to a cylinder, a round cylinder. Right. So that's that bit done. So I'm just going to move on to the next bit. But before I do that, I should probably put all this back. So as uh, as always, I made this, I made these top bits a little easier to take off in, so that um, I can, these bottom bits are easily accessible. Same thing with the other side. So moving on to the front. So if I just remove this bit, you have a bedroom. So this bedroom not exactly uh, has like proper beds, but it has bunk beds. So it's it saves a lot of space and it can and it can seat six people. So I've just taken out one of these beds so you guys can see. I just took a thick piece on the bottom for good foundation and then built up on top of it and just filled the inside with with smooth pieces and put one of these angled bits on the top of the very top for the um, pillow effect. And this and this bit right here is stairs. So like minifigure can stand here, get up there, onto the top bunk. So I have built three of those, three of these bunks so that those, so it can accommodate six people, well seven if you count the second couch that I've added here. And then I put a miniature TV right there. And, all, and also, 
also, I also built an extra walkway, in, uh, an extra walkway to the ship. So um, this bit, I'll show you guys in just a minute. And this is the walkway that I built. It goes like that. So your minifigure can stand here in the original bit and then just walk through this area and here. So last thing I'm going to show you guys is the bathroom, which is the new thing. So it has a trap door to access from the bottom of the ship and it has a regular door to access from the, from the top of the ship more like the deck of the ship and the toilet is in the very is in the very um like so back like neck on the side so that it's not really visible to people who are looking through here or because i do know it has holes on it and this one is see-through this trapdoor there so i know it's kind of awkward but hey but that's why i put it um on the very side so that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. And please do let me know if you guys liked this video in the comment section down below. And if you guys did, I will make more videos like this in the future. That's all for today's video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!